So have you ever felt just completely stuck in your family history research? Oh, you are not alone. But what if I told you that you could have a brand new kind of assistant, one that can read handwriting from centuries ago in like a few seconds? Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on artificial intelligence. We'll show you exactly how to make it your most powerful genealogy tool ever. Let's jump right in. You know the feeling. We've all been there. You're staring at some faded census record, trying to figure out a name, or you're chasing a lead that seems to have just vanished into thin air. It's that classic genealogist's brick wall. But what if there's a new way to do this? A way to not just chip away at that wall, but to find a door right through it. Okay, I want you to stop thinking of AI as some crazy, complicated tech thing. Instead, picture this. It's your personal research assistant. One that can scan and analyze thousands of documents in the time it takes you to brew a cup of coffee. It can help you piece together the stories of your ancestors and really bring them to life. It's here to save you a ton of time and, honestly, to spark some amazing new discoveries. But right, where do you even begin with all this? Well, learning to use these new tools isn't about just diving into the deep end and hoping for the best. It's a journey, and it's a journey with clear, totally achievable steps. The good news? We have the map to guide you. Check this out. This roadmap lays out everything you need to know, from the absolute fundamentals to the more advanced stuff. It just goes to show that becoming an AI-savvy genealogist isn't some vague, far-off goal. Nope, it's a real destination, and you can get there just by following this clear, well-lit path. We can break this whole journey down into three pretty manageable stages. First up, you build your core competencies. You know, learning how to use AI to read and analyze those old documents. Next, you embrace the guiding principles. These are the crucial rules that keep your research accurate and ethical. And then finally, you get to the really fun part, strategic applications. This is where you use AI to tackle your biggest research challenges and craft some incredible family stories. Look, theory is great and all, but nothing builds confidence like a quick, hands-on win. So right now, we're going to walk through your very first AI project. I promise you, in about 15 minutes, you'll go from zero experience to seeing exactly how powerful this can be for yourself. We're going to use a tool called Perplexity for this. Here's the three-step plan. It's super simple. First, you sign up for a free account and you create what they call a space. Just think of it as a private project folder for one of your family lines. Second, you upload just one document. Could be a PDF of a census record, a will, whatever you've got. Finally, you just ask a simple question about that document, like, hey, who were the members of the household in the census record? And boom, this is the aha moment. Within seconds, the AI reads your document and spits out the answer. It's not searching the whole internet, it's searching your file and pulling out the exact information you asked for. That feeling of instantly finding a fact that might have taken you hours to find by hand, that is the game changer. Okay, so you've had your first success. Awesome. Now what? Well, the key to getting consistently amazing results is moving from just a single question to a structured, repeatable workflow. This is where you really start to unlock the power of AI. It all starts with how you ask. Just look at the difference here. A lazy prompt like analyze the files and create a family biography is going to get you a generic, probably unhelpful response. But a great prompt, like the one on the right that tells the AI to be an expert genealogist and asks for a 500-word biography, that gives you a much more useful result. You're not just asking a question, you're directing your research assistant. Remember, the quality of what you get out is directly tied to the quality of what you put in. So this table basically breaks down that great prompt into a repeatable formula. You start with the goal. What do you want it to do? Then give it a role like expert genealogist. Provide the necessary context and background info. State the specific task. Add any constraints like word count or tone. And finally, tell it the format you want. Following this structure will dramatically improve your results every single time. You know, a great workflow also needs to be organized. Instead of having one long, confusing chat history, tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity let you create these dedicated projects or spaces. This is so useful because you can create one for each family line, keeping all your related files, notes, and chats neatly bundled together. No more mess. And remember, you're not limited to just one tool. The pros, they build a toolkit. Think of it this way. ChatGPT is your transcriber. It's amazing at reading old handwriting. Perplexity is your context engine. It can search your files and the web at the same time to place your family in historical events. And Claude, Claude is your storyteller, perfect for weaving all those dates and facts into a compelling narrative. 
All right, before we wrap up, let's go over some absolutely essential principles. Think of these as the keys to making sure your AI-assisted research isn't just fast, but that it's also accurate, ethical, and actually effective. If you only take one thing away from our chat today, let it be this. AI is an assistant. It is not the final authority. It can, and it will, make mistakes. Verification is absolutely non-negotiable. You have to always go back to the original source documents to confirm any information the AI gives you, period. These four principles will guide you well. First, always remember, you are the genealogist. Your expertise is what leads the research. Second, start small. Pick one simple task, get a win, and build from there. Third, protect privacy. Be so, so careful with the data of living people. And finally, stay curious. This whole field is changing fast, so just keep learning. So with those principles in mind, here's a quick actionable tip for all you ChatGPT users. Use the projects feature. I'm serious. Creating a separate project for each family line will take your workflow from cluttered to clean, making it so much easier to find what you need later on. For perplexity, all the power is in spaces. Think of a space as a custom little knowledge base for a specific research question. You upload your documents and the AI can analyze them alongside live results from the web. This is perfect for putting your family's story into the context of bigger historical events. And if you're using Claude, really lean into its storytelling strengths. Once you've gathered all your data, you know, the names, dates, and places, feed it to Claude and ask for a narrative outline. It is just remarkably good at turning those dry facts into the warm human story you've been looking to tell. So there you have it. You've got the roadmap, you've got the first steps, and you've got the guiding principles. You have a powerful new research assistant just waiting for your direction. So the only question left is, what family mystery are you gonna solve first?